Ladies and gentlemen, Matt Gates not long ago nominated Jim Jordan for Speaker of the House. If Jim Jordan, who is running for Speaker of the House against Steve Scalise, who's also a good choice, but perhaps more part of the establishment than obviously Jim Jordan or Matt Gates or Marjorie Taylor Greene. These are Trump Republicans. These are Trump Republicans who've taken over the Republican Party. Thank God. Thank God. The only anti-endless military conflict choice is a Trump Republican. The politician who would fund, for example, endless military quagmires would be a Democrat or a Bush, Cheney, Rumsfeld Republican. So the Trump Republican is the obviously obviously the moral choice if you care about foreign affairs. If foreign policy is not your thing, then just, you know, listen to media and care about Trump's personality and that's it. We had record low poverty with Trump also. Don't get me started. I can go on forever. The economy was great. Foreign policy was fantastic. Much better than what we have now with mashed potato brains and interest rates through the roof. Inflation still with rent and food. We're heading into a recession anyway. Not long ago, today I'm nominating Jim Jordan for Speaker of the House. I think that he can go ahead and win Jim Jordan, which would be absolutely amazing, ladies and gentlemen. Hit subscribe to this channel right now to read my writing on The Hill, The Huffington Post, Shalom, The Jerusalem Post, The Federalist, and other publications. Go to hagoodman.com. My Patreon is below. My Super Thanks is below. I'm doing three to four segments a day, including live streams from now on. We're back. We're running at full steam. Back again. Took a couple months. Um, some really wonderful things have taken place, thank God, in my life. So, uh, let's continue. Hit subscribe. If you look at Matt Gates, he has backed Jim Jordan in, in before in January. I think he'll back him again. I think Jim Jordan, the chairman of the House Judiciary Committee, who is on top of the obvious bribery scheme. So we'll look at a, a Washington Post article really quickly after this, talking about that, that highlights how desperate media is to defend the indefensible pertaining to Hunter and Joe and to just muddy the waters when it comes to actually pointing out criminal activity. See, with Trump, they accuse him of everything under the sun, the most absurd allegations, and with obvious graft and bribery, they say, well, you can't prove anything. Everything's circumstantial uh, pertaining to Hunter and Joe and others. But anyway, U.S. Representative Jim Jordan, an Ohio Republican, was nominated Tuesday. Of course, this is in January of this year. But still, if you have Matt Gates nominating you already, then you're in the driver's seat in terms of winning the um, speakership. So Jim Jordan, an Ohio Republican, was nominated Tuesday to serve as the next Speaker of the House of Representatives moments after Jordan delivered a speech. Okay, so Jordan did play ball, which made sense at that time, I guess, if if you he was the chairman of the House Judiciary Committee. Um, but now, maybe the right person for the job of Speaker of the House isn't someone who wants it so bad, said Florida Republican Matt Gates. Maybe Jim Jordan is the right person for Speaker of the House because he's not beholden to the lobbyists and special interests who have corrupted this place and corrupted this nation uh, under the leadership of both Republicans and Democrats. Notice how Matt Gates, Jim Jordan, and others, both Republicans and Democrats, the Bush, Cheney, and Rumsfeld Republicans and Democrats, and Bernie Sanders, the Democratic Socialists. So this is a quick lesson in American politics right now. Ten seconds. The Democratic Socialists, the far left, the people who will, you know, get their hair green or blue or red or whatever. Okay, the people who despise Trump, the morally superior, highly educated liberal Democrats, far left, vote alongside, and the Democratic Socialists and the Socialists and the Communists, vote alongside the Bush, Cheney, and Rumsfeld Republicans. The Democratic Party and all the other groups that are essentially barnacles on the whole of the Democratic Party, vote alongside the Lincoln Project Republicans, okay? The only choice if you want a, a, a truly anti-war candidate is Trump or Matt Gates or Jim Jordan. But here you have Jim Jordan, Trump ally launches bid. Um, Jim Jordan said he discussed speaker bid with Trump and wouldn't oust Gates from GOP uh, from the GOP. So 
You look, ladies and gentlemen, Jim Jordan said he discussed speaker bid with Trump. Very good. And obviously wouldn't oust Matt Gates because he's friends with Matt Gates. And Matt Gates did once back him as Speaker of the House. Okay, this is not the Republican Party that pushed for endless counterinsurgency conflicts. Okay, um, I, for example, which is I, I find very bizarre and sad. I lost like 10 friends, okay, because I voted for Trump and I back Donald Trump. Okay, they couldn't understand, and maybe they didn't even care, that the reason, the primary reason, one of the main reasons, or no, the primary reason that I'm voting for Trump and backing Trump Republicans is because they're the only anti-war choice. I do not want American soldiers, men and women, away from their families, sent to never-ending counterinsurgency conflicts all over the globe. I don't want to fund endless military quagmires like the one in Europe. I think that's wrong, immoral, bad. It is the most important issue, far more important than the environment, in my view, far more important, which is also an important issue. Okay, but if you look, we're 90 seconds to midnight, according to the Bulletin of Atomic Scientists with Biden. We are closer to a nuclear annihilation than ever before. As Democrats and never-Trump Republicans want to fund an endless conflict with, with no end in sight and no definition of victory, okay? The larger power, the greater power in that conflict has either already won or will eventually win. And by the way, he was the point person, Biden, for that country, okay? And by the way, Hunter served on the board of directors of an oil and gas corporation and uh, was making, uh, what, 50, what, 80, 90,000 a month, something like that. And just coincidentally, the vice president at that time, Biden, forced out a prosecutor. Just com- pure, um, just, you know, the stars aligned. But anyway, if you look, ladies and gentlemen, he's disgusted with Trump. Gates has already backed him. And you look at the, well, first, let's look at the uh, House Judiciary Committee. You need somebody with the chutzpah, the audacity, the fire, the intensity. And by the way, they accused him of something he didn't do. So they, they, the, the Democratic Party or, or um, Democrats online, um, the Blue and On uh, type people say, Jim Jordan, GYM. They do so because, of course, they've accused him of something he didn't do. They accused him of knowing about um, a criminal act that he didn't know about, that he wasn't a part of, that he had nothing to do with. This, of course, to Democrats, means that that Hunter and obvious bribery schemes are just like what what, jo- what Jim Jordan didn't do and what, by the way, Matt Gates didn't do. But they were investigated. So what Democrats do is they are actually guilty of crimes, but they investigate and they have all of media. The, the big issue is that all of media see Matt Gates, Jim Jordan, Marjorie Taylor Greene, um, to a great extent Lauren Boebert, definitely Donald Trump, don't need media, okay? You fundraise and make money in politics through media, okay? Democrats with Tammany Hall over 100 years ago, if you control the newspaper narrative if or the media narrative or the cable news narrative, If you influence, so it's not direct control, obviously, but if you influence, if you have allies within media like Democrats do, you can get away with a lot and cover up a lot, like 50 intel officials covering up for Hunter. But here, Jim Jordan responds to uh, the Fulton County District Attorney. Jim Jordan demands documents and Hunter probe. He's on top of everything, okay? Backing, defending Trump, but also going after, like, obvious graft and bribery schemes, within the Democratic Party. But here, Jim Jordan's dishonest argument uh, of wrongdoing by Biden. Why does the Washington Post serve as a as a newsletter for the Democratic Party? Where is, um, um, you know, Nancy Pelosi's dishonest argument of wrongdoing by Trump? Does that even exist? Would that, where is, um, you know, um, Adam Schiff's dishonest argument of wrongdoing by Trump when Trump was never an operative of the Kremlin? And then we ended here. We could just go ahead 
And at the end of the day, here's the problem with the fact checking. It's all opinion. They they talk about Kushner. They say, well, Kushner made money. We're talking about bribery and graft. Completely different from a billionaire already making money. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe to this channel right now. Jim Jordan, next Speaker of the House.